this tower of fantasy guide not only am i going to give you guys tips on how you can level up and progress faster and avoid mistakes but if you stick around to the end i'm going to share with you guys how i got over 30 free summons in less than 30 minutes so make sure you stay tuned all right let's jump right in by talking about weapons characters and the mistakes you should avoid when you get them in this game weapons and waifus are basically the same thing obtaining a weapon will allow you to play as the character that corresponds with that weapon for example if you get the rosy edge from a summon you can then use and play as Meryl my god would you look at the physics now most players just refer to the weapons by the name of the waifu or husbando that they correspond to because let's face it they're the real reason that you're playing the game and also because it's just easier to remember the name of the character no one actually says dual em stars they just say Samir now weapons come in three different rarities there's R which is blue SR which is purple and SSR which is golden obviously SSR is the most powerful and also the most difficult to obtain but luckily I'm gonna tell you guys how to get more of them for free later in the video but I do just want to say while the SRs are absolutely usable especially in the early game for PVE content you mainly want to focus all of your time and resources on the SSRs that you are actually able to get your hands on as you level up and augment your weapons you're gonna realize that it takes more and more of these consumable materials and it's important that you don't waste these resources on weapons that you're not going to use in the late game like these blue blades all right now I know what you're thinking just give me the tier list what weapons are the best I already made a video about the tier list so go ahead and check that out but as a rule of thumb I wouldn't bring any of your blue weapons past level like 10 or 20 and I wouldn't bring your purple weapons past level like 40 or maybe 50 if you're really unlucky with your summons now as you can see there are three different weapons that you can have equipped at any given time this is your weapon set and most of the strategy when fighting in this game comes from building a three weapon set that has really good synergy later we're gonna go more into detail about a lot of the different stats here because I know this looks confusing but I promise it's very simple but for now let's start to teach you how to level up faster yo what's he doing back there he's just creeping on me by the way I'm not sponsored by Tower Fantasy so all the support on these videos lately has really gone a long way some toxic members of the gotcha community have also been dislike botting my videos so going and dropping a thumbs up to help me fight the bots is really greatly appreciated now in your first couple of hours playing you're just gonna want to focus on the main story as you progress you're gonna unlock more features in the game such as relics matrices daily quests a bunch of stuff is only available once you progress through that main storyline once you reach the point in the story where you head over to the banjas dock I would say it's probably time to start slowing down and return to Astra to continue to explore a little bit more by the way Astra is the starting island it's in the bottom left corner of this massive map here I could not believe how many free things were hidden across all of Astra that you could easily miss if you don't know what you're looking for now the most important places to visit before you leave Astra are the three ruins which you can see here in blue their little blue tower Hours, there's ruin a zero one ruin a03 and over here is ruin a02 completing all three of these ruins which are basically just little mini dungeons will give you a ton of experience points as you can see here but more importantly you're going to unlock the missile barrage strange cube and omnium hand cannon relics and just like the jetpack and jet board that you get from just doing some of the earlier story missions these three relics are really going to help you out when exploring the world and also defeating some enemies the missile barrage is especially helpful when you're relatively weak in the early game because it just keeps on blasting baby no aiming required I love it now as you're traveling about Astra going to these different ruins you want to make sure that you stop at all of these space rifts that you see here on the map for me they're in yellow because I've already visited them but for you they're going to be in gray there are six space rifts across Astra alone and many more across the map as you'll see but when you visit these space rifts for the first time it's going to give you the ability to teleport or transmit back there for free whenever you want this is especially useful when you go to do your daily bounties which we're going to talk about in a little bit or when you just want to go to specific points on the map like down here to Robarg, for example she's the first world boss that you're going to encounter and I suggest you uh fight her with some friends she's also gorgeous uh you know if you're into that kind of thing now as you're adventuring across the world there are two things that I want you guys to 
keep your eye out for glowing chests that you see out in the world and little white diamonds on your mini map first let's talk about chests because they are a free quick and easy way to gain a ton of experience as well as important items and resources there are three main chests you're gonna see around the world there's these ball shaped ones there's also these pyramid shaped ones which are called password chests and there's these rusty green ones the spherical ones actually show up on your mini map and sometimes you're gonna have to defeat some enemies in order to collect them the password chests come in different rarities and typically you're gonna want to use an item to unlock them if you have them and the rusty green ones are actually randomly spawned chests that respawn around the map and anybody can claim them so if you see one of the rusty green ones go and get it quick okay before someone else gets it okay now let's talk about those white diamonds on your mini map those indicate a small little secret puzzle that when you solve it you get an item typically a black nucleus but also sometimes a gold nucleus if you don't know what a black nucleus or gold nucleus is these are the items that you need in order to perform a summon and summons are how you get the waifus okay so this is like the whole point of the game here trust me you want nuclei as much as a fat kid wants cake okay and I can make that joke because I was heavy luckily you can literally get over a hundred of the black nucleus in Astra alone so make sure you actually spend some time to go around and do this exploration plus it's also just a lot of fun solving these puzzles sometimes it's a dandelion plant where you just have to hit the base of the plant to release the nucleus and then hit the nucleus with a weapon or a bow sometimes it's just a nucleus on the ground covered in vines and you have to hit it with a flame element weapon my favorite are the little blue plant tentacle things where you have to go get a nearby ball robot and Kobe also there's like mushrooms that you got to bounce on and little potted plants that you have to also hit with a, a flame element weapon also if you don't think you have a flame element weapon go ahead and check your inventory because they do actually give you a flame element composite bow it's this blue bow right here and that will do the trick some puzzles will also require frost element as well but I it's pretty self-explanatory I'm sure you can figure out which one those are now some of these little puzzles will also give gold nuclei which is like the premium summon here in the game and all of this exploration is going to contribute to various different achievements and missions here in the terminal as well as your Astra exploration and these are just some more ways that you're going to get gold nuclei and some dark crystals so I really can't emphasize how valuable these small little puzzles actually are real quick as a side note if you don't know what to spend those dark crystals on I would say most free to play and low spenders should probably spend most of the early game just getting the red nucleus the special red nuclei are what you need for the limited time banners those are limited time characters so this really is a premium currency now since I mentioned different weapons can have different elements why don't we circle back to weapons and talk about them a little bit more look all this seems confusing but trust me okay it's very simple weapons have four key things to consider there's the resonance the elements the shatter value and the charge value that's it okay it gets a little bit more complex but this is a beginner's guide and this is really all you need to know for now now a weapon's resonance is really just the role it's going to play in your weapon lineup a weapon can either be dps which is shown here in red defense which is shown here in yellow or support which is shown here in blue this is literally just the holy trinity that pretty much every mmorpg has okay there's damage tank and healer same thing here now mixing and matching different resonance types will actually give you different little buffs here so if you have two dps you'll get this buff if you have two defense you'll get this buff or if you have an even balance that's a topic for a whole other video but let's talk about the elements the elements are just as simple and at the time of recording this there are only four elements in the game there's flame frost volt and grievous each element has a different effect depending on the element type and you can see that here and also some enemies will resist certain elements and you'll see that when you're attacking them it will literally say resist on the screen it'll also show it underneath their health bar finally let's talk about shatter and charge values these are very very simple i promise a weapon's shatter value determines how good it is at you guessed it shattering an enemy's shield let's go I knew you knew the answer now not all enemies have shields but typically the big beefy ones do okay those thick boys out in the open field and shattering that shield is key to maximizing your DPS so you always want to make sure at least one of your weapons in your three weapon set has a pretty high shatter value luckily echo here is a guaranteed SR that you get at the beginning of the game and her shatter value is pretty good on the other hand we have the charge value which determines how quickly you can 
charge your discharge ability see i told you this was easy boys you had this in the bag these discharge abilities are super powerful so being able to use them more often in battle is crucial so always make sure you have at least one weapon in your three weapon set that also has a high charge value now one quick tip about discharge abilities while we're talking about it is that you can actually recharge them instantaneously if you perfectly dodge an enemy's attack this can be really tricky but it's worth practicing on some weaker enemies because this can really help you a lot of times the enemy will have like a flash of red in their eye and you want to time the dodge for right after that I promise getting this timing down will literally save your life so you can come back and thank me later now like I said there's a lot more we could cover about the weapons but there's just one last thing that I will cover here in the beginner's guide and that is the star level that you see up here in the top you can increase the star level of both the purple and the gold weapons not the crummy blue ones increasing the star level of a weapon will further further increase its stats and it will also give you a new passive ability but there's a catch you can only upgrade the star level of a weapon if you have a duplicate of that weapon so if you thought summoning a particular SSR was hard well great news you get to summon it six more times let's go but that's what mom's credit card is for yeah I'm just kidding kids please spend responsibly okay all right now let's jump back to leveling up not only faster but also smarter there are some activities that you should prioritize on a daily basis because you can only do them once a day and they typically will give you some really valuable items as well as a ton of experience first of all is the daily bounties which you can see here on the screen you're going to get a bunch of black nucleus as well as a gold nucleus every single day which is incredible there's also weekly quests here and completing the quests will give you progress towards this top bar and at the very end if you complete all of it throughout the week you're going to get free dark crystal that is a free gold or red nucleus I hope you're starting to see how important some of these currencies are okay these are your tickets to more waifus boys let's go now you also want to make sure that you appreciate Mia's cooking at least three times per day okay she gives you some free items and also a ton of experience for literally just clicking this taste button that's it you just click the button the bar goes up in like two seconds and then you're done perhaps even more important than getting a free meal from a baby robot is spending down down your vitality points which you can see here in the select adventure screen if this says 180 out of 180 you are wasting value ah look I knew it you're wasting value pause the video quick go ahead and spend this down what are you doing what are you waiting for so you can actually spend down this vitality here and farm out some different equipment some different matrices you can also get materials and some experience and things like that and you also can earn some crystal dust which I'm pretty sure is slang for a particular drug but you can use it here in the crystal dust store to buy some nice little gifts finally another time gated thing that you should be doing every single day are these trainings you're going to get two different trainings every single day you can see your boy didn't do those and by doing these trainings you're going to get some training points which is another currency that you can use to get some special gifts now once you've finished all that time sensitive stuff you can resume the main quest and at the beginning of this video I promised I would show you guys how to get 30 free gold nucleus in a pretty quick time frame so here it is this map plots out the fastest route to getting 17 gold nuclei and this is mainly across to Astra and a little bit into Banges and all you really need is that fire bow and the jetpack that you get pretty early on in the story that's why it says here do the story until you get the fire bow because you can't do all these without it and then you also get one gold nucleus from the main storyline and when you complete five percent of the Banges exploration you get two more gold nuclei and finally the last 10 are actually given to you for free from the pre-registration if you play the game right now that brings your total up to 30 which is also the soft pity cap for new players you are guaranteed to get an SSR from those three gold nuclei so good luck hopefully you get the one you want if you for some reason don't get the 10 gold nuclei from the pre-registration because you're watching this months from now just go back into the video where I talk about exploration and the small little puzzles you're going to get a bunch of gold nuclei from that as well so hitting 30 certainly won't take you very long and it won't take that much effort either now hopefully if you made it all the way to the end of this video I've earned a like on it it really 
does help out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other Tower of Fantasy players might see it also leave a comment if there's any beginner tips that you wish you would have known when you first started playing Tower of Fantasy because I'm also still learning alongside you guys subscribe with the bell turned on to be notified the next time that I upload a Tower of Fantasy video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace